This is the experiment called the density liquids. When you mixed it up, they're all together. When I stopped mixing the bottle, the colorful beads went to the top and the red ones went to the bottom. Then they slowly are kind of meeting in the middle, like something is pulling them together. Now, what's actually happening is they're they're floating on different layers and this bottle actually has two different liquids in them. The bottom one is all by itself now. It's the heaviest item. It's, it's the one that sinks to the bottom when they're all mixed together. It sinks to the bottom because it has a higher density. It's more dense, more compact, so it falls to the bottom. It has an actual density rating of uh, 1.03. It's salt water. What's lighter than salt water are a couple of things, three things to be exact. The next lightest thing is these red beads. The next lightest thing is these color beads and the white beads. And then the lightest thing in this whole jar has the lowest density of 0.7 is isopropyl alcohol. Density is a property of all matter and it basically just tells us what's lighter and what's heavier. Let's do that again. When we mix it all up, it's a mixture and everything is together. When you give it a chance to settle, the first thing that happens is the beads go to the very bottom the very top because both of the liquids are now mixed and they have kind of like a density of one. But as those two fluids start to separate, the salt water going to the bottom and the alcohol going to the top, the beads are going to start to be pushed around because salt water wants to be at the very, very bottom. It's moving down. The red beads are the next lightest thing. And then the colored beads are the third lightest thing and the lightest thing is the alcohol it's slowly moving to the top it's happening right before our eyes you also might ask why are my beads colorful that I'm using here outside and when I take it inside they turn white that's because I'm outside in the ultraviolet light and the light is hitting us and it's turning some of these beads different colors. You know I'm outside so you can hear the planes going overhead. If I happen to cover this and keep the light out of it, I bet those top beads will turn white. Okay, it's been a couple minutes. <gasps> cool, they're white again. And now they're slowly turning colors. Actually, it's pretty fast. Ultraviolet light changing color beads. 